everyone. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And I'm glad you're here today. So today I am doing a um, top five items video. So I'm going to do two in one. I am going to do my top 10 for planning, but I've got it divided into two sections. My top five items for things to decorate, my spreads, and my top five tools or items that make it easier to decorate. And I think you should really have, if you're going to be doing any kind of planning and paper crafting, um, you know, on a regular basis. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with my top five items for decorating my planner. So I've just turned it to a blank page here so I can use it as a background. So I am going to start with scrapbooking paper. Now I'm not going to throw a bunch of paper pads up here. I've just got my little bucket of scraps and yeah, all kinds of little scraps here. And these are mostly, these ones here are mostly from six inch paper pads. And the reason that I like six inch paper pads the most is because overall they have a smaller scale print on them, which is really good for the size of your boxes. So you can just take your paper scraps, you can cut them down to the size of your boxes, you can cut them down larger, you can make them square, rectangle, half boxes, whatever you want, and stick them in your planner. So basically, all you need to use these is a pair of scissors and probably your ruler as well. So that is a cheap alternative to stickers for a newbie planner. Takes a little bit longer to use scrapbooking paper, but like look at the colors. This is just a scrap, but look at the colors and how pretty this is and how they're is um, concentrated print here, but just some pretty color here. So imagine these cut into boxes and then you can write right on top of them or just use them as decorative purposes. So yeah, scrapbooking paper. My, my number one go-to when I first started planning and I didn't have a lot of planning supplies. So, um, so number five, I'm going to do it in the order of things probably from cheapest to the most expensive. My next one is washi tape. And I'm just going to bring up my basket and I'm just going to show you. I just, I don't have a lot of washi tape, guys. And a lot of this st stuff here, it comes from the dollar store. It came in little um, swaps. It came in, some of it came in rolls from Michael's and places like that. But yeah, all kinds of washi tape. And I love it. Um... Along with scrapbooking paper, washi tape was my other go-to when I first started. So I did use quite a bit of my washi tape. Here's some backing off of one. I guess I just pull the backing off and throw it in. But some of these uh, metallic ones are so, so pretty in a planner. Um, note, though, that with metallic washies, you do have to... I don't even know where the beginning of this one is. Um, yeah, but you do have to pull the backing off of a good metallic washi tape, I guess because the metallic comes off on the back of the tape if they just roll it like that, like these ones, there's no backing on. So washi tape. Now you can see I've got cards and cards of washi tape in here as well. And these were all done through swaps. So I may have had five or six rolls of washi, but then I 
just decided how much I was going to swap with somebody else and I'd send them off some of my washi and they would send me off some of theirs so that I increased how much I had really fast that way. So I had a large variety with just bits of washi tape because in a planner you only need like your longest strip is going to be your four boxes wide on your right hand page. Um, yeah, so you don't need tons of washi to do a spread, but it's really, really great. So that's number four. Number three, your favorite pens and pencils and highlighters and what have you. So I'm going to just go through a little bit of this. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I think that you really, really need. So I could hardly plan at all without my pencil. And this just happens to be a dollar store, um, a dollar rama studio pencil. And it, it's a fine point um, of 0.5 millimeters. So a nice fine point. That and a good eraser are priceless because when you're laying out your spread it's easier to go lightly and pencil in when you're first starting pencil in everything that's to go in your planner and then go back and write over top of it with whatever you're going to use that week whether it's your favorite flare pens or your just your favorite um pens i love these Pigma Microns, I've got number twos, number fives, number eights, and even some uh, wedge tip ones. These are also a permanent marker. They're from Prism Prismacolor, and I love those as well. And for writing on top of your scrapbooking paper and your stickers and stuff like that, those, those are great. These ones here are and if you're writing on top of a sticker so that you don't have to worry about bleed through, just a good old Sharpie fine point marker is really good too. And they come in so many different colors. So, but remember, don't write in your planner with things that are going to bleed through. Test your pens first on, um, on a scrap page or just the back of a notes page or something to see if there's going to be bleed through because that is really disappointing when you go to do a new spread and your ink has bled through the page from the other side and you already have little dots that you're going to end up having to cover over. So that's number three. So your favorite pens and pencils and uh, markers and highlighters, guys. Highlighters are absolutely great. And I, these are just from the dollar store. I think I got them for do, from Dollarama for $3.50. There are six gorgeous colors in here. And each one has a fine point and a wedge. So if you want to put a wedge and then just write something in it, like a wide line, or do you just want to Write with your highlighter over top of your pencil. It's great for that too. But again, remember to check for bleed through before you use whatever types of highlighters you have. So that's number three, your favorite pens, pencils, highlighters, etc. Um, I'm just going to set this over here. I had to get everything close to me, so I've got a bit of a clutter happening around. And now here's a tip, and I'm not going to number it, but definitely your favorite coffee or tea when you're planning as well. So now I'm going to move on to stickers. So many people on the Newbie Happy Planner groups... Um, are questioning how do people buy so many sticker books from Happy Planner when it's so pricey? And that's a good question, um, which I'm going to cover next. But I'm just going to show you an alternative to doing that. 
So go to your dollar store, whether it's Dollar Tree, Dollarama. Some of these came from Dollar Tree. Some of these came from Dollarama. Some came from the Great Canadian Dollar Store. In the States, I believe you have your Dollar General. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you some Dollar Store stickers. And you can imagine. So loving these donuts. And imagine if you had just some pretty pastel pinks and green scrapbooking papers and you put them down in your boxes and then you want to decorate around your page. Like, look at that. They would be so stinking cute. And you could have do a whole donut theme in your um, on your weekly spread. And these ones. I'm not opposed to using raised stickers, like the three-dimensional stickers, in my planner. But I'll give you a hint. A lot of times, I'll pop off, if it's a double layer, and it's exactly the same on the back as it is on the front, I'll just pop the front off and put a little bit of glue on there and stick it down. Because it doesn't need to be raised if that's your whole thing. So, for example, the girl sticker, I could use just the front and this one because it's just two layers of exactly the same sticker. So, but look at that. Say your little girl is having a birthday this week or next week and you're sitting down to do your plan with me. Wouldn't it be cute to use this as your theme for the whole week of her birthday? That would be absolutely fabulous. And this one. I'm just going to stick this over here. But look at this one. The same goes for your little your little guy. If he is having a birthday and you want to do a cowboy thing. Fantastic. Fantastic stickers for stuff like that. Now, I'm just going to do a quick, quick flip through of a bunch of the stickers. These raised stickers that... Here's another boy themed one. So skateboarding and bicycles and yeah, um, cool and rad and awesome. Great themed stickers, coffee and tea themed stickers for a theme. This one is all just nature with the birdhouse, the flowers, the little insects, just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous to just put with a few papers to make some boxes and do a whole theme. Now, these jot ones come from, these ones that I've been showing you are Dollar Tree stickers. So a dollar, guys, a dollar for your spread. Yeah, here's a beautiful summer themed one. And a family themed one. Just, this is so farmhouse. Um, even the glitter doesn't bother me. Here's a nature, all the wild animals, and again, a. have got another little pe uh, bunch of stickers in here because I've done a couple of these themes. These little pirate themes are so stinking cute. So, yeah, and they're, they're things that can be used all year round. Here are some Dollar Tree stickers. Um, these are nice, big, and they're gel. The whole thing isn't gel. Like, this is popped up. This little bit's popped up. Um, the top, the icing on this, you know, so basically just the sweets part, uh, is popped up on these stickers. But these stickers lay down in your planner really, really well. And, yeah, and here are just some citrus. Some little glitter gel stickers and they're so so pretty when you get them in a planner look at this one guys now this is forever in time but I think I got this one from the great Canadian dollar store and I could not resist like how can you go wrong with a unicorn theme for your week you can't and the other types of stickers that you can get at dollar stores now I don't know This didn't, this didn't come from Dollar. Well, it might have come from Dollar Am. It didn't come from Dollar Tree, I don't think. But this is just potted succulents. 
and cactus. And I, I started at the back using them up. These are absolutely wonderful to just put down in your sticker to remember to water your plants or water your garden or thing, plant care stickers. They make great stickers for that. So that is number two. So my second favorite thing for decorating is dollar store stickers, no matter what kind of dollar store it is. And number one, my absolute favorite types of stickers are, yes, the more pricey ones, but I just want to give you a few tips, guys. Um, buy these when they are 50% off or when you have a... Um, a discount sticker for them and yeah I bought all of these off of Facebook I think they were Facebook marketplace stickers and she offered all of these to me for I think it was under ten dollars now they some of them hadn't even been opened so I got this boss babe and it has, all these have in here are sticker boxes. Some of them are double wide sticker boxes and some of them are the single. So here's your two today top three things to do. Um, I love the double wide ones for weekends and things like that. And yeah, all kinds of decorative stickers. So don't forget to check um, Kijiji, um, Facebook uh, Marketplace and all of those sale places because you're bound to find and check Facebook guys. Facebook um, Happy Planner sites, Happy Planner groups. There's a lot of them out there that have things for sale where people are uh, destashing and downsizing and they just have too many, so they're getting rid of them, and they're a reasonable price. And that's a great way to purchase if you're willing to pay the shipping price for them, to, for somebody to mail them to you. That's a great way to get these without having to go on the Happy Planner site yourself, because shipping from there is really, really pricey, especially if you're in another country and you have to pay duty. Sometimes it's cheaper to just have somebody that has it mail it to you, and you just pay that that um, mail fee and then there are these these are these economy what do they call these oh my gosh I've gone completely blank guys um, but they're the the sticker books now there's 30 pages in each one of these sticker books I've picked out five that I could plan with all the time and if these were the only five books, I mean, I have a lot more of them, but if these were the only five books that I had, I could plan with them. And I'm just going to give you a quick peek. So Planner Basics, and this is a mini, but you can get this, the Planner Basics in the classic size and the big as well. And these are really Planner Basics. There's boxes there's um, be productive, so busy, deadline, um, meeting at such and such a time, project is due. So these are your basic stickers and it's a bunch of different ones. So there's things that would be in the faith sticker books, in the working sticker books, um, holiday sticker books. They're all in the basic. There's a little bit of everything in here um, even the weekend stickers the band weekend banners and things like that and what I really love about the basics is that all the holidays are usually in here so and I've used a couple off of this one but yeah you've got Christmas Eve Christmas Day New Year's Day April Fool's Day St. Patrick's you've got your day, daylight saving times starts and ends you even have tax day you've got Halloween Thanksgiving Independence Day Hanukkah Veterans Day everything is in here the only thing that I wish that Happy Planner would do would be put in just a few of the main um, 
the main holidays that we have in Canada and maybe a few because you don't Cinco de Mayo is in here everybody's not going to use that everybody's not going to use that but yeah um, President's Day is in here I uh, Independence Day is in here I would love to see a Canada Day um, label or um, I mean, I'm sure the UK has holidays that are very specific to them, but but they're big ones. And just the main big ones from a few other countries would be really cool to have as well. But that is the Planner Basics. And then there's the Color Story. Um, this That one was a mini. This one's a big. I get them in all sizes, guys, because I I just love using them in all sizes. But this is the color story. And what there, I used a lot of these already. But basically, you've got, I think it might be better for you guys if I flip it this way. But basically, you've got some um, quotes and things like that in here. You've got your full box stickers in here. There are all kinds of different stickers again in here, but you could do a whole spread color wise and color match because there's bunches of things that go together in here. So this big hello weekend and then all of this color mixing, you can tell from this one that it was different colors all over. And yeah, a lot of color mixing in that bunch. But then you can go to, they have a series of black and white and gold. And then the peaches and the lime greens, these watercolor washed out colors. There are, um, yeah, there's just your basic colors that go with a lot of other sticker books. So the color story is one that I really like as well. And I love that they have these big Hello Weekend ones in different colors. So there is the pink one. Let me see if I can find the other ones. Or did I show you maybe? And I've used a few too. There was the big black and white and gold one. There's this blue one. So yeah, these big Hello Weekend as well. So... You can see from the front here that um, I keep wanting to hold my sticker books like this, but I know you can't see them, so sorry. Um, they, you can see from the, the front here that you could do like four different color themes together from this sticker book, which is really, really fabulous. Now, this one... I have to go, I'm actually on the hunt for another one of these right now um, because this one is basically empty. But colorful boxes, they have these little colors, these little sized boxes, medium sized or half boxes and strips, um, maybe one third boxes, half boxes long boxes, square, there's one I haven't used, <laughs> um, square boxes, full boxes, and then all these little to-do, busy day, these types of things down the middle, and they have them in these green, uh, uh, lime green and kind of uh, soft blue color patterns to match, then in the pinks and peaches, I've used them, I mean you could tell I've used the stickers guys, um, the blues and the purpley pinks, the black and white, just the black border. There's some gold ones and there's some silver ones in here. So colorful boxes in five different color themes. Absolutely fabulous. And then this one came out last year, maybe, um, it may be out a little bit longer than that, but it doesn't seem to me that it's been out that long. But um, layered boxes. And what that means is these boxes look like you've laid down a box and then laid down another sticker box that you can write in on top of that. So, and they have them in these gorgeous colors. So I'm not going to do complete look at that. The purples and blues, the blues and uh, greens, greens and purples, um, 
these hot pinks and yellows and oranges that all go together and then these real greens and yellows and yeah and they have gold um gold highlights metallic highlights and silver highlights in here so all of those so those those two for the decorative stickers color stories and planner basics colorful boxes and layered boxes for all your box needs and then as a decorative uh, just as decorative stickers, you cannot go wrong with one of the floral sticker books because, and they do them, they're all different. Um, there's so many different floral books out now, but they're just all floral stickers. So these ones are the paper stickers uh, and they have this kind of navy blue. When you, when you take the sticker off, it's kind of... Let me see, find one that you can, that you're going to see it on. So when you take the sticker off, there's going to be this navy blue around the sticker. And so there's this set and then the same types of stickers, but with a white background. And then these kind of whimsical uh, florals, they have just the leaves. These watercolors in the pinks with these deep purples are fabulous. I think I'm doing this because it's just easier to flip. Um, yeah, look how pretty, pretty, pretty they are. These softer colored flowers, these bright, bold colored flowers. And there's a couple, a couple, three pages of each different kind. Um, yeah. Yeah, so all kinds of absolutely wonderful florals. And this is just one sticker book just called Flowers. There's watercolor flowers. There's the ones that, there's just, there's so many different kinds. Um, so look, when you're in the stores and you're looking for sticker books, look for the floral sticker books. I think you're getting, as far as decoration wise, you're getting more bang for your buck by buying sticker books that you're going to, like you've seen how many stickers are gone out of all these sticker books, you get more bang for your buck by buying these on sale and knowing that you're going to use almost every single sticker in these books. So, yeah. Now, just to let you know, this one, this is an older book. This is... Uh, kind of a color story as well because you have these different stickers and here's a, here's another one so you can do a whole spread with just these sticker books so look for your sticker books that you're going to use all of like this is another color story. It doesn't say color story on it. This is an older book. It's one of the first ones I got and it just says stickers. But yeah, I mean, there's a spread on the front of here that's done just with the green colored stickers in here. So these greens and pinks and then these bright reds and blues and the soft peaches. Yeah, lots of stickers gone. That's all the pages that are left in here. There's a long way from being 30 pages in there because I've used them up. So when you're buying, that's my tip, when you're buying the Happy Planner Value Pack sticker books, make sure that you pick up the ones that you're going to use the most of. And then, I, so that was my number one because I absolutely love the Happy Planner sticker books. But there's one more source out there for planning and it's a little bit more on the pricey side and it's just a bonus to this list and it's Etsy. It's Etsy. I don't buy, it looks like I do, but I don't buy a ton off of Etsy. Um, this was a freebie, I believe, that came with a kit. And I do love my Etsy stickers, but for specific things. So every week when I put down my night that I sit down and plan, I use one of these little planner 
uh, stickers that has a planner, a pen, and a cup of tea on it. I just think that they are the most adorable things to um, mark your planner session in your planner. And they're different colors. So depending on what theme your spread is, you can usually find a color that will go with it. Um, trash and recycling day stickers. So I love ordering functional stickers off of Etsy that I'm going to use over and over and over again. This is my second or third sheet of these. Um, these ones are just a refrigerator and it says clean the fridge. I have payday stickers because I like to be able to have payday stickers. Do your laundry, hang your laundry up, pay your bills. So this is my credit card, my electric and my um, house insurance or mortgage. I've used that one up and some of that one. Now this was a freebie, but there's some little um, weather stickers if you're keeping track of the weather. I love these. I love Green Darner Designs stickers. So yeah, so that's the one of these that I'm using right now. This one is a Taco Tuesday sticker. I love Little Pearl the Penguin. And I had a couple of sheets of these for wash masks, you know, to put down each week. So I wash all my masks. And these little Instagram stickers. This was a freebie that was added in. And obviously, it's a one-page um, New Year's Day one. But you can also get sticker sheets like this. Now, this is from Mod Mode Designs. But if I was to do, a, and, I, and I'll go through sometimes, and instead of ordering whole kits, because the whole kits are pricey, but sometimes I'll add, I'll, I'll get one sheet and I'll get the decorative stickers if I do that. Now, these, this one page with some stickers, just some box stickers or some um, scrapbooking paper would make a great, um, would make a, a great theme for a whole week in your planner and obviously I've used most of these there's a few left on here and there's a few left on here so yeah I just keep my stickers like this mostly from Etsy I do my I don't use them for a lot of stuff but I do my monthly layout with an Etsy sticker kit that comes from Green Darner Design. And this year I've used her for every monthly layout in my catch-all planner. So that's all of the things that I can come up with for decorating, that you, that you can buy for decorating. I'm not saying that you have to go out and buy them all. So my tip is just get a little bit at a time. Start off with just maybe some uh, highlighters, a good pen, and some washi. And maybe then add some scrapbooking paper to your collection of things to plan with. And then maybe add some dollar store stickers to it. And then you can start getting into, once you've got a style, and you know what you want, then start shopping for a happy planner stickers and uh, maybe Etsy stickers and things like that. But make sure that you just have your basics when you get that first planner because you need to know whether you're going to stick with it and if you're going to develop a style or if you're just all over the place like me where I may do something different every single week and I love doing that, that's okay too. And um, yeah, so that's my top five items to decorate my planner. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, give it a, a thumbs up and let me know. And uh, let me know what is the one thing on this list that you can't do without. Just in the comments. Let me know the one thing that you can't do without in your planner that you have to have every single week. So that's it. I am going to let you all go and take care, everybody. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that now. And until next week, bye-bye for now.